Okay, we're good. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and super hat and welcome to the modern ninja and today we're going to be testing out the signature series wakasashi from century. I have more details and a review that I did a little bit ago and the specs and uh, my opinions on the sword as far as the design and all that kind of stuff goes but in this video we are putting it to the test. Specifically three tests that see how it holds up in real life situations where you're actually using it. Each test is slightly different and designed to learn about the swords different features and different functions basically where it succeeds and where it fails please allow the students to succeed or fail on their own these tests are going to be the sharpness test that we use fruit to slice and see how easy it is to slice fruit and how clean the slices are the fruit ninja test to test maneuverability and of course the bone test to see if it's truly strong enough to break through solid bone and throughout all these tests the sword will be not altered at all straight out of the box so we didn't sharpen it we didn't fortify it, we didn't use any special oils or anything to uh, seal it better we took the sword out of the box and this is how we're testing it. So what you get is 100% what you get in the box if you order this sword. You did mean it. Speaking of, if you want to order this sword, use the link down in the description and use the code NINJA10 to get 10% off the purchase. But starting off, we have the slice test. This test is designed to see how smoothly the sword will slice through a material right out of the box. As you can see, the melon slice was fairly clean. No large chunks were taken out of the cut. However, there is room for improvement. The melon has small pieces that were not uniform in the cut, especially towards the back end of the slice. And in the second slice, you see small chunks of green that were ripped instead of cut through. So what does this mean? Well, trying to cut through any form of flesh or anything harder to cut through than uh, fruit will lead the swordsman to experience a little more resistance, making the cut slightly less smooth. But you have to take into account that the sword hasn't actually been sharpened. So in my opinion, with a couple of whetstones, this sword can cut with the best of them. That's a sharp outfit, Chan. Careful, you could puncture the hull of an Empire class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. As a bonus, here's a clip of me coming through Red Bull. Weight distribution and balance, testing how well someone could use this sword to actually block, counter, and slice moving targets. Also, I kind of wanted an excuse to play Fruit Ninja, and you know, why not? And my friends had no problem signing up to throw fruit at me. I don't want to be covered in tomato juice. Do that. <laughs> this segment is obviously going to be in large part my opinion. Obviously, people uh, are used to different weights and different balances uh, in their weapons. But, you know, this is my channel, so that's what you signed up for. And if it makes you feel any better, I've been using swords for basically 11 years now. So, I kind of know what I'm looking for in terms of balance and the weight distribution of swords. And with that said, I feel like this sword is one of the most well-balanced swords that I own outside of my tricking swords designed for tossing and spinning and all stuff like that. This sets me up with a great advantage because in my opinion speed is the number one most important factor of any sort of fighting especially when standing up with weapons outside of obviously skill. The balance was also at the top of the handle and for me that's ideal. Because of my experience with tricking swords all I had to do was adjust for the new overall weight of the sword and everything else after that came easy. Then I tried the reverse grip because why not? And the same things apply. I was able to maneuver the sword correctly to be able to cut the fruit as they were coming at me. Oh, that's oh, that a good was one. A good angle for that was a good one. And of course, my friends wanted to destroy the rest of the fruit with this bat, so enjoy this explosion. Now, after we cleaned up our mess at the baseball field, we headed to a different location to do the bone test. Okay. Oh. 
And this one was a little bit interesting. All of my friends that were with me were martial artists, and we were all taking bets to see whether the sword was able to break through the bone without, you know, significantly shattering the bone, or breaking the sword in any way, whether it's scratching or cracking or anything in the, of that nature. So I'm going to give you this opportunity. Comment down below what your bet is. Do you think the bone will completely shatter? Do you think uh, the sword will have scratches all on it where the bone was. Um, what is your bet? So you go down in the comments and leave your suggestion or leave your guess. Hurry up, come on. All right, you done? Cool. Time to show you whether the sword could truly stand up and hold its own to a solid cow bone. Yep. Now, like we talked about before, the sword isn't the sharpest currently, so part of the bone did actually break apart. However, the cut was effortless. There was no reverb that made your hand shake and hurt, and the grip didn't budge at all. And the bone, even though a piece of it did break apart, didn't scratch the blade at all. Overall, I think this sword is an excellent sword for anyone wanting a weapon to train with and slice things with in their spare time. It holds up very strong and exceeds my current, my personal expectations that I had for the sword. And for all of you guys doomsday prepping out there for the zombie apocalypse, I know there's some of you. This one is definitely one to drop in the bunker. Like I said before, if you want to know more details, check out my review that is linked down in the description below. And there's also a link to Century Martial Arts with uh, the sword there for you to buy. And don't forget to use my code NINJA10 to get 10% off your purchase. Make sure to subscribe for more martial arts fun. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.